In this video I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how to use the high pass filter in Photoshop to sharpen and increase detail in your images. So let's have a look. So if we go to filter and then other and then high pass, this is a, uh, it's a good way of sharpening your image. Uh, a lot of people use it at the end of the workflow as a replacement for, uh, for the other like smart sharpen and whatnot. But the way I like to use it is if I want to sharpen and increase any detail in my image uh, midway through the workflow. So we see here it gives us this really weird grey looking uh, version of our image. And then we have this radius slider here. So what this does, as I increase the radius value you can start to see the edges appear within the image. And what you're looking for, if you're using this as a general sharpening filter, you're really going to want to be on a really low value, say one point, well, anywhere between 0 0.3 to uh, maybe 2 pixels. Because anything above that, and you're going to start getting haloing with, uh, you know, when you apply this as a sharpening effect. So, let's say we wanted to use this just to sharpen these rocks in the foreground. We'll leave it on a value of 1.5 and say OK. And then to turn this into a sharpening layer, what we would do is just change the blend mode to either soft light or overlay. Um, overlay gives a stronger version of, uh, of the two. And you can see it's quite subtle. You probably want to try this out yourself if you haven't used this method before. I'm not sure that the, uh, the difference is coming across in the video, but yeah, this is before and then this is after. And you can see if you just look along the edges here, as I disable this layer again, and then re-enable it, you should just see a little bit of sharpness kind of popping in. So that's one alternative to, uh, to the actual sharpening uh, filters. Now how I tend to use it, let me just go back in the history there and reselect the uh, high pass. So how I tend to use it is for increasing detail. So let's look at this rock face here. And at the moment with such a low value it's not uh, bringing much detail through in this rock. But let's increase it to a value much higher than what we would use if we were just trying to sharpen the whole image. But let's, let's bring it to here, just so that we can see some detail coming through in this rock. And I'll click OK. And then let's pop this onto Overlay again. And now if we look at this rock here, as I uh, toggle this off and on, you can see that kind of sharpening effect has brought out a lot more detail in this rock face. Now what it has also done is uh, made some halos all around the rest of the image and we don't want that. So in this case how I would use this is to add a layer mask. Press Command or Control I to invert the layer mask. Grab a white brush and then just brush this effect in by brushing white into the layer mask there. So. That's um, it. It's basically creating a like a sharpening style brush there. And now, if I toggle that off and on again, we can see that's only being applied in the rock face there. So yeah, like I said, a lot of people use this at the end of the workflow to uh, to do the sort of general sharpening, and that's that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But the way I tend to use it is for just bringing out detail. It's good in the clouds as well. You can use this to pull out a lot of detail from the clouds in a shot. Um, yeah, like for example if I use these same settings even and zoom in up here we can see just as I move around we're grabbing a bit more detail and making these clouds stand out a little bit more. Again, not sure if that's coming across in the video but yeah, trust me it's, uh, it's making a difference. There we go, if I toggle that off and on again. Yeah, so like I said, that is the uh, the high pass filter and a few different alternative uses for that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. If you like shooting landscapes and you want to learn how to put all these individual tips and techniques that you're learning into a structured six step Photoshop workflow, then click the download button and I'll send you my free PDF cheat sheet that lays everything out for you step by step.